welcome everyone to this week's Skippy Track Guide. And uh, well, we're in Australia. It's a uh, very hot country, and I think that uh, definitely shows here. The track was a bit toasty, to say the least. Uh, it's Phillip Island, if you hadn't guessed. And well, basically, uh, you can't see a steering wheel about here. Um, that's because uh, my DD1 unfortunately has uh, has passed on. It basically isn't transferring any data to the wheel. Um, so the base works as in force feedback wise, but there's no buttons that are working, no LED lights, no little LCD screens or nothing like that. So I'm on the old Club Sport uh, V1. Uh, so it's a little bit getting used to it. My uh, Formula Rim doesn't actually work on these due to power issues apparently. So I'm on the BMW GT2 wheel. Anyway, I'm uh, I'm waffling now. So let's have a nosy round here. You can see my laps. We did 51 in total, and it was on the 50th lap that we set our fastest lap, which is a 147.997. And you can't see that because the webcam's in the way, as always. Um, info here: track temperature 81 Fahrenheit. That seems pretty cool. I'm sure it said 45 earlier, 45 Celsius. That is. Um, that is actually quite cool. Um, so yeah, plenty of off tracks. <laughs> Bear that in mind around here. Definitely very slippery. Uh, set up, if I haven't mentioned it already, it will be in the description. Otherwise, let's crack on and get into the track guide. Let's get rid of that, and I'll see you on the track. Right, main straight, and be careful of cars coming out just here. There's actually a weird pit lane exit. You can exit here, or where there's cars coming into the screen, uh, which is a little easier, a little bit safer. People can see you. Uh, rolling into turn one, it's quite a long uh, start-finish straight. You come off the final corner really really well and it does benefit all the way down here so turn one is very tricky cold tires you're gonna need to be careful as the curb slightly turns that's my marker so I kind of lift off a little bit of break if I'm on cold tires and get most of the turning done before the apex if that makes sense so the second half of the corner tends to be where the car really oversteers. So I want to get most of my turning done before then and have a straighter exit. You can see here, I don't use all the track on the left. I'm, I'm a bit nervous about going out of there. And basically, we're into another cheeky little rascal. Turn two here is very, very awkward. There's a dirt patch, and that's my breaking point. Or I use this Marshall's hut on the left. And we're braking very smooth, very gently down into third, keeping a good amount of throttle on, trying to keep that rear end from stepping out on us. And I keep a really tight line here. A lot of people go out wide and then have a really um, late apex, which I kind of get here. You can take a bit more of the curb than what I do, but they take a really late apex and get a good sh uh, slingshot through turn three and four. I find going out wide, first of all, just has issues of running onto the grass. I'd rather finish the lap rather than going on a journey over the green stuff. So use all the track on the exit. I've still got a little bit more left there. So a little bit of more speed I could take, let's say. And basically, this is a point where we're just straight lining, minimizing scrub. Uh, it sounds like we're at the Nürburgring again. Trying to maximize the straight line speed of the skippy. Going to be a really good overtaking opportunity down into turn four. Uh, this is turn three, by the way. Uh, I'm ignoring it because it's flat. So just take it. Uh, avoid the curb if you can. We don't want un any unnecessary bumps on the skippy. Uh, saying that, this one looks quite flat. <laughs> uh, maybe take that one. There's a bump just there, so avoid that one. Uh, but basically, we're just trying to set up a nice straight braking zone for turn four. Uh, it's a hairpin, really, really tricky. As we come up to the 100 meter board, I'm gonna pause the video and you can see that is our marker. Cold tires slightly before the 100 meter, um, when the tires are warm at the 100 meter. Heavy on the brakes, really heavy. Don't lock up here, you'll be going straight on. And turning quite late, get a nice apex. Try and get most of the rotation in at apex and afterwards, and then start getting on that power. You can see how early we were on power there really really quite handy now there is some astroturf on the left and there is that cheeky little dirt patch there that's an off track so i don't even go anywhere near that no point you only maybe get like half a tenth if maximum it's a short straight so don't worry about that you'd rather minimize the x's and stay on the black stuff so 
turn six we are coming in as the curb ends and your car back of the car passes it we are braking and we are dropping it into second i find that third understeers too much through here and this is another late apex corner avoid the curb you can see how high it is we give it a little cheeky tickle as we come past and the road's quite cambered so you do get good front end grip here but in third i was just understeering wide uh, be careful on exit you kind of go up and over crest car gets light that is an off track so be very careful dipping a tire onto there really really easy to do if you're trying to chase lap time again this is another full throttle zone uh, coming up to turn seven turn eight um, it's just minimizing scrub again keeping the tires as straight as possible avoiding the curbs because they are quite high and basically it'll be another good opportunity overtaking opportunity um in two turns where are we nine nine is a cheeky little rascal it's a pain in the rear end to get absolutely right we do nick a bit of curb here that is my mistake i need to listen to my own advice and avoid the curbs but it's quite tricky to get this corner flat um change it to fifth depending if you're in the slipstream in another car i change it after the corner keep the rpm nice and high as we're coming into turn nine there is a service road on the right hand side you can just about see it just there as that comes into view that's when i start really turning in i get the car turning before i change into fourth keep the revs nice and high and then basically i'm hugging the curb not quite touching it as it does get a little bit higher but just giving it a little cheeky little cheeky tickle on the way past. This is really tricky here because you are coming over a crest. So car is going to go light. You are going to slide across the track. And this is why you want to stay tight to there because you don't want to one ride on the grass. Real pain in the rear. 50 meter board. As we pass that, we're slamming on the brakes. Downhill braking, really easy to lock up the front tires here. So be very careful. Down into first gear. And we are rolling the car in. A lovely cambered hairpin, this. We can nick a tire onto the uh, brown grassy bit. We don't on this lap, but you can do without any trouble. This is the most important corner of the track, turn 10, as we're basically full throttle now, all the way again till turn one. So really important to get a good exit here. Turn 11 here is just an acceleration zone. So again, avoid the curb, avoid unnecessarily spinning that inside rear tire by hitting the curb and just try and get as good a exit as you can. Be very careful on exit here. The track seems to appear out of nowhere and all of a sudden you're on top of it. Um, I was going wide on a few practices where I was just un, uh, un, undoing the steering and basically getting a wheel on the grass, which is another off track, which is a pain in the rear. Right, turn 12, last corner. As the outs outside of the curve, if that makes sense, curves in, we're gonna mimic that curve in, and that's kind of sets us up for a lovely line through turn 12. Uh, avoid the curve again, because it's flat here, and you can see it jumps up here, and it's quite a nice cambered corner again. I leave it in fourth. If you've got a bit of slipstream, it might be worth nicking fifth, but I keep it in fourth all the way until we're on corner exit. Be very careful overtaking down this straight early because they will just get back in your slipstream and you'll be going too wide into turn one. So you've got to time your slipstream really, really well. Otherwise, that is the lap done and dusted. All we're doing is minimizing the line to turn one again. And as I say, be careful of cars exiting uh, the early pit exit if that's anything uh, pit entrance is just before turn 12 if you didn't see it um, I think it's quite a good idea to get used to uh, where the pits are here and as you can see I stay kind of middle of the track just in case a car pops out after the wall so that is us across the line with a 147.997 so what I'll do now is I'll leave you to the full speed lap we have a chase cam and a cockpit cam which was requested in the last video that we have the cockpit cam at full speed which I think is a good idea so otherwise guys thank you very much for watching hope you found this useful let us know what lap times you're getting and uh, hopefully I'll see you on the track cheers guys bye bye